Welcome back. This is John Bench Fisherman. I've got a, uh, a my favorite reel, an ambassador. This is a left hand, 5,000. One CA. Uh, let's see here. 06 0006. Okay. There it is. For all you ambassador uh, fans out there. I'm just going to do a quick maintenance on. I don't think the reel needs much. So uh, let's see what we got. I believe it's like brand new. If I have to do much to it, I'll be surprised. No upgrades. Just going to clean it good. I don't know. I may have already been into this one, but like I said, everything's been packed up in my house. So who the hell knows? may have already been into it. No. This is factory original. That's a good thing. Not going to need much. I want to take it apart. Just like I would, uh, Remember, it's left hand, so everything's backwards. This reel has to be brand new. This is incredible. It's incredible shape. There's no corrosion, no dirt, nothing. This is this reel's never been into, so you'll get to see exactly how everything's supposed to go on these reels. Go the other way with it. This has an anti reverse sprag in it. It's an anti reverse, you believe. All right, we're gonna get to these parts in just a minute. Take this. Full tension knob off. Now it's got a, it's got the plastic. Let's look, this thing, this thing's beautiful. Um, I'm not sure why I'm even bothering to take it apart. This slides to the side, pulls off, and you can take your shaft out. These two screws. It just needs a good clean. It's just some old grease in it, which is, it's really not old. It does not have the inst instant anti-reverse. It's got the anti-reverse dog on it. Let's take this piece off. That's your jack or your spring plate. We're going to go ahead and take these shims off. Always keep note how they come off there. This reel could be easily upgraded to uh, more bearings. I don't know if I'm going to bother. We're going to go ahead and clean everything. So when the shaft comes off, you got another little washer down here. It's a drag washer. that you've got a shim off here is your yoke pinion that pops out be very careful with that all this needs to be cleaned up good it's it's old grease but it's not bad grease 
still still in good shape. And this this hook to the spring right here comes off. Three pieces there. And that's the whole unit. They call this the brake plate. Here's your drag. Get all the drag washer out of here. In there. All right. So you got your press plate, first drag washer, geared washer, drag washer, heat washer, drag washer, which all goes down into there. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see what else we got here. This reel's clean enough. You could basically wipe it down. You don't even have to run it in the in a cleaner, so to speak. Just be wiped down. Every bit of it. It's just not bad shape. But I will run it anyway. Let's take the spool part. This plastic gear unsnaps and this one has a bushing so yeah we might end up i end up doing that i got bearings for that got a retainer here oh here's your what do you call it the uh it holds a centrifugal weight centrifugal weight cage all right, and your other one bearing that you have on the spool is out. There should be a shim up in there. That's a first. Hmm. That's not right. Oh, there it is. No? Yeah, that's it. It fell out. Good. Glad we got that. That shim's got a little wave to it. It's made like that on purpose. Now we go over this side. Three screws. What I really like about this size reel, it does have a bait clipper. So this would be a good catfish reel, like like pier reel, where you could set a live you know, bait out and uh, clicker on, loosen the drag. It hits it, doesn't pull your rod in the water. Let's get something else here. This reel is about as close to being new as it can be, be from 2000. June of 2000, I believe it was. It's a one bearing reel. We might fix that. I'll see what I got in stock. I like this. This has got the good bait clicker on it. We'll take this out. You slide this to, there's a gap. Slide that right out of there with the clicker. The clicker, whoop, that was good. It comes off of that like that. Okay. This gear can be removed when we'll leave it off. No point in dealing with that. All right, go over here to. And you can also get the dual bearing um, level line for this reel. Take that loose and slide to one side. So I'm not really doing just a, a clean lube to it. I'm going to go ahead and 
picks her up. She comes out. You've got your paw, which is God, brand new. And that's it. I'm going to clean it up and I'll be back. Hey, it's John. I'm back. I put this nice old ambassador 5001 CA back together. This thing started out life as a one bearing reel. And I'm going to turn it into a three bearing reel. So this could be a C3. I'm going to replace this bushing and this factory bearing with two ABEC. ABEC 7s, I think they are actually. I'm also going to replace the drag with carbon tex. This is carbon tex set. Well, I believe this is the right one. I haven't opened all up yet. That's the one you need. Looks like the right one. Let's see here. Just compare the size. That's all that matters is the off. Uh, a little different. We'll see if it works. Not all. Try another set. I'm also going to replace. What did I do with it? In the handle, it has this big plastic bushing. I'm going to replace it with a bearing, a bushing or a spacer, and some shims. <laughs> and you do that by basically, you have to order a shim kit off of. Amazon, I don't have a link. Sorry, I'm not that sophisticated. But you need to you need to come up with something that will equal that distance right there, nine point four millimeters, and that's basically what I've done. I've added up the bearing, the spacer, and the shims to get nine point four millimeters. Okay, let's put a reel together. Uh. I did not upgrade the level line. So, just gonna put it back together. And got this. There we go. Keeper. Like that. Okay. And then you put your, uh, a little, might be off frame on that. I apologize. Put your level line dog back in there. And the easiest way to set that is pull the pressure off, turn this, and you'll. Go right in place. I'm going to oil all this up really well. Put oil on the bushings. This cap on. This reel will not see salt water, so I'm not too worried about uh, grease on that. There is your level line. A little bit of oil on this. Okay. 
All right. Next is the cap over here. The palm plate. Well, and this one would be over here. You've got bait clicker, which is a really nice feature of this reel. It's like this. Put that copper tab onto that handle. You want to put some grease up in here. And it just basically is. You sandwich the cover between those tabs. Slide it together. Okay. You want it over in that position right there. Okay. We can go ahead and put this together. Grease in each one of these. Uh, we'll put some oil on the gear just a little bit. Oil down in there. Where the shaft goes. Axle shaft. And. Cover on. I'm going to get the right screwdriver here. Yeah, I originally said I wasn't going to modify this reel, but I just can't leave well enough alone. It's going to sit on the shelf. I don't know if I'm going to fish with it or not. It's pretty real. Really nice reel. I like the color. This reel has not been used. The has has been used very little. Okay. If you look up in there, that tab, and you throw it, throw it into the on position, that tab slides down. It will contact this, make the clicking sound. So we got that side of the reel done. Let's do the spool. We've got bearing. You don't need to pre lube these bearings, they're already lubed. We go in, and then that snaps in there. That's like that. So we've got a bearing in there. Over here on this side, it takes a shim bearing, and then your centrifugal weights slash drive. I don't know what you call it. Put your, uh, Snap ring on, just like that. That's got the whole spool assembly done. Let's build this part. I had to take, I had to take this off. You, uh, you know, I always use ballast all on these plates, the brake plates. It, I like it because it uh, it never really dries, but it doesn't. It's not runny either. Once an hour from now, this stuff will be kind of a gel. This works really well. Give another little squirt there. Doesn't take much of that stuff. This goes on, and give it another little squirt. Stuff was made in Germany, World War, World War One. It's still in use. It's good stuff. Can't beat it. Oops. Wrong way, John. Hang on a second. <laughs> Dropped it on there the wrong way. It goes on like this. Okay. You've got a spring. Goes from here, this post, try not to lose the spring. It's like that, okay? There's the whole thing. Oh, 
over here you got the uh, yoke. So this is your this is your jack plate. This is your yoke. Like a little bit of lube, but on the on the jack plate, lube up the yoke. Your pinion gear snaps in just like that. Lubricate the pinion gear. That will slide on just like that. Spring plate. I put just a little bit of grease on the tabs of those springs. Basically, just you just set it on here. Slides down those two posts. That handle the uh, push button for spore release. And we're going to go ahead and release that spool or engage the spool. And that way, everything's sitting in its relaxed position. Next is this shim it goes down on the shaft. You've got your anti reverse dog. See, you got the two fingers there. You slide that on there like that. Slide this down on here like this. Do not lubricate this. You want the friction. If you're going to test this, put your thumb right there so it doesn't kick that all. You got to emulate the cover being around this. You see how it works? You try to backspin it, it reaches down and catches that friction, causes that dog to catch that, that cog. Y'all see that? See how that works? Okay, let's see if I got the right drag washers here. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so you're going to get, and I always use cows on these drag washers. You don't have to. It's a personal choice. You don't lose any, you don't lose any drag by using cows. It's a misconception. It's made for drags. And on there, and that's not going to work. Not going to work. Tell you why. See the difference in the diameter. I'm going to have to use the old one for that right there, which is no big deal. We'll put it on there. That way it clears that dog. We'll save that one for another reel. The rest of them will work. I'm going to go ahead and grease this gear up. Hard to, it's hard to get it on there good and not get too much sometimes, but I think I got it just about right. It's like that. Now let's build a drag. Cows on, on the disc, just kind of rub it in with your fingers. That one on, then it gets a heed washer. Owls on the but on the uh, brake drag washer, then your ear washer. cows then your press plate I call it a press plate that may not be the technical term for it that's what I call it I'm 
Now, I want to go with two of these shims down here. Like I said, I got these shims off Amazon. You did their eight, I think it's eight millimeter inside diameter. And you're going to go with the bearing and two more of the shims. And then this plastic spacer. I think this is going to work out right. Every one of them is a little bit different. Okay, Let's see how it looks. We'll go ahead and put some grease on right here. Take your cover. Yeah. Yeah, the bearing is a uh, No, that's not right. Tell you why. I may end up having to go back to this. Maybe it is okay. Let's just look at it. So the outside diameter of this should be about, this is 14 millimeters. Okay. Let's see what the outside diameter is of this. Yeah, we're about a millimeter short, so that's not going to work. I must have the wrong bearing. Let's, uh, look at it here. That's the wrong bearing. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it back in stock. We're going to put that back on there. That one needs a little bit bigger bearing than what I've got. I don't think I've got it in stock. I don't have it. So, you know, we turned into a two bearing reel. I'll have to order some more of those bearings. That's okay. It's going to be fine. You, you don't want that to not have support. This being 13 millimeter and that being 14, you've got to have that support against this part of the housing. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. All right, so you got to get these two springs, spring washers on there. They oppose each other. Okay. A little bit of grease. Put your star on that goes reverse rotation. Right with me. Sometimes you have to hold them. And then your washer. Oh, let me do something else before I get too far ahead of myself here.
shaft in it. Okay, you got the shaft goes in. This plastic washer would have been easier to show you the other way, but, but see how it goes on there? It just snaps on just like that. And your cap, give just a little bit of oil. And then your shim. And some more oil. A little bit of grease and threads. And start your cap. This would have been easier to do if I dealt before I put the star drag on it, but that's okay. You don't need to tighten it down yet, just leave it like that. Then your handle washer goes with the ears down towards the drag. Your handle, snap ring, don't lose it. Is on. Just a little dab of grease. I'll wipe off the excess. Thing about left hand threads is they like to, it's easy to cross thread them. I don't know why. Just because you're not used to turning, starting things in that general order. All right. And your cover or lock is on. And screw. Okay, there it is. You can go ahead and put your spool on there, which now has two bearings. I did accomplish that. Put it all together. There was still some upgrades to do. I could still upgrade this bearing and handle. I might order one and the uh, level line bearings. I can make it a five bearing reel pretty quickly. I'll give those just a, I don't know, quarter of a turn. Tighten the drag down really good. That's got plenty of drag on it. Can't really tell how it's going to spin without lying on it, but it's not bad. All right. Well, there it is didn't quite get to do it the way i wanted to but yeah it is what it is i don't always have everything in stock that i need but didn't do bad i was unable to use that one washer there is a different drag kit for this reel and it, it does change it's different in that respect as a smaller washer i just don't have one in stock Uh, put all my shims back up and stuff. Now I'll order these shims in, in bulk. I use a lot of them. Well, there it is. Still working on my audio. We got to get a couple things for that, but uh, that's my second reel on this new bench setup. It, it looks the same, but it's different. I uh, appreciate everybody watching my channel. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my, my channel so you can get 
get updates when uh, new videos come out. Uh, I load videos out every Wednesday morning and Saturday morning. You gotta get you through the midday, midweek hump and Saturday morning coffee. <laughs> this is John Vinish Fishman. Thanks for watching.